has definitely sprung here in the Carolinas and my wardrobe is reflecting the warmer temperatures. I whipped up the Helen's Closet Yanta overalls a few weeks back and I cannot wait to share my new make and my thoughts. The overalls are described as laid back artist style overalls with a comfortable fit through waist, hips, and legs. These overalls have classic features like a V-shaped back and a pointed chest pocket. The Yanta straps are secured using buttons. Make your Yanta overalls cropped pants or summery shorts. Both views have front and back patch pockets. Yanta is comfortable, modern, and fun to sew. First off, I love the style of these overalls. I love that they don't have a waistband. They are beyond comfortable due to their non-constricting nature. There aren't a ton of deal breakers when it comes to fit, meaning if they don't fit perfectly, it would be pretty hard to tell, but I did have some things that I wanted to point out. Your bust is pretty much negligible here as the open sides of the overalls would hide most fit issues you may have. The only thing um, would be to measure my bust from apex to apex and make sure that the front bib covers the span of that measurement with a little bit of overhang. Um, the waist is also somewhat negligible. However, even though I graded in at the waist, I still had to take some of the bagginess out of the sides. For pear shapes, it's a little bit tricky because you need to make sure that the waist is somewhat quote unquote fitted, but that you can still get the overalls on over your hips, which is why I just didn't take a whole bunch um, in at the side seam. The little darts that I added, two in the front and two in the back, added up to about a four inch adjustment which I don't think I could have just lopped off the side seams. It would have created too much of a severe angle from the hip, but since there's already one dart that's part of the pattern, I decided to just add another one and it solved the waist bagginess issue for me. Could I have taken it in a little more? Probably, but I don't want to take away from the intended design either. I feel like this is a good balance. And to make sure that I was able to get them on and off comfortably, I did go ahead and add a, a little zipper on one of the side seams. The instructions for this are included in the pattern. So if you wanted to do that, you could as well. This is just added insurance to make sure that they get on and off really easily. Regarding the crotch, okay, you can see that I am getting a little bit of a wedgie in these. Since I filmed this, I have done the controversial scoop out of the back crotch, which completely solved this problem for me. I am becoming more and more convinced that I'm just an L shape, and a lot of US patterns use the J shape, so I just have to scoop out. That's just how I'm able to get these things to fit. In either way, I've always loved breaking the rules, so this would be no exception. The crotch depth might be a potential issue. It's not something I can fix retrospectively because, you know, the seams have already been finished and everything. But um, I do think that for future versions, I could add possibly another half an inch, especially in the back. Crotch length and rise don't seem to be a big problem. Maybe I could drop the crotch a little bit, but only after I increased the depth first. I might move the button uh, at the top up, which would cause the whole thing to sit a little bit lower. It's an easy fix or at least an easy way to assess if there really is an issue with the rise. But my gut is telling me it's more of a depth issue than it is a rise issue. There also appears to be an issue with the front thigh. You can't really tell when I'm standing, but when I sit down, the hem is very constricting. I don't know if this is something that others have found with their Yantas, but it's not an adjustment or even an issue I'm used to having. Again, if I increase the back depth, that could also solve some of this issue, but another quick fix would be to just add little slits on the side seams. It's a cute detail that I see in ready to wear a lot and would be easy to do on these, but for future versions, I would definitely wanna check the athletic front thigh, uh, adjustment and see if that is something I could do to these to help with the fit there. 
it's really no surprise I have so much to say about the fit of these. They are basically pants after all, but I do want to say that assessing fit on something like this pattern that doesn't have a waistband and are also just pretty loose fitting generally allows me to focus on just one area of pants fitting and that's the crotch. There's so many parts to fitting a crotch and sometimes I just get overwhelmed with assessing the crotch as well as the waist as well as the hip width. So it was nice to not worry about those other things and just focus on this one thing. And I think it really helped me kind of narrow down some of the issues that I'm having on this pattern that might also translate to other patterns, other pants patterns. Some things that I absolutely love about this pattern design wise, I love all the pockets on this design. I was a little bit leery of the front hip pockets because you know, sometimes that can like draw attention to your hips. And for me, that's like the widest part. So I don't want to make them look any wider than they already are. But their size is just about perfect. And I really don't feel like they draw a lot of attention at all. Um, I'm actually really happy that I added them. I use them a lot to put like little things in. Um, they're, they're just very functional <laughs> on top of everything else. And I don't think that they detract from the um, flattery of the overalls. I placed the back pockets exactly where the pattern suggests, which I never do, and this is why. They are too far apart. I could easily move them in two inches closer to the center back seam. That said though, the height of them is almost spot on and the like size of the pockets is just what I like. They're just too far apart. And I wonder if this has something to do with like the conversion from misses to women's. I feel like the the larger the overalls are or the pants are, whatever it is, it's actually more flattering to have the pockets set in a little bit closer and they don't make that adjustment from the smaller sizes to the larger sizes. I don't know, either way, like I said, I normally never use the patterns um, suggestion for pockets and I shouldn't have for this, but I was just kind of on a roll and so I just went with it. Easy enough for me to uh, rip them out and move them over, no big deal. The V-shaped back is a really nice detail and construction is made about as easy as it can be considering all that's going on here. Helen did a sew along for just these steps and on her Instagram and it was really helpful to see her do it. I'm not sure I would have made it out alive without that. I've seen some people combine the neckline and straps of the Helen's Closet York Pinafore with the Yanta, and that might be my next stop on the overall slash pinafore train. There will be more. I love these. They're so comfortable and easy to wear. The fabric is a cotton twill, which is perfect for these overalls. I got the fabric, button, pattern, everything that it I needed to make this as part of the Indie Stitch subscription box. It was really nice to ha have to worry about collecting everything I needed to finish these overalls. I just opened the box and got to work. They even included machine needles, thread, and hand stitching needles for the hand uh, stitching parts. It was a, it's a really cool service. I've linked it in the description box if you want to check it out. They do different patterns every month, um, and it's just a really fun way to sew. And with that, I think I've about covered everything there is to say about the Yanta overalls. Let me know if you have had any similar issues with crotch fitting your Yantas or if you can see something in the fitting that I can't. Keep in mind, I did adjust the back crotch curve to be a little bit scoopier, so um, they do fit a little bit better back there. But that is going to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all very soon. Bye!